Hi Leander ISD, this is Nurse Kristen, your district nurse. I found a book I'd like to read along with you, and a few of our campus nurses will be making a special appearance. I hope you enjoy it. I'd like to share a book with you called Coronavirus, a book for children by Elizabeth Jenner, Kate Wilson, and Nia Roberts. Illustrations by Alex Scheffler. There's a new word you may have heard. You might hear people talking about it, or you might hear it on the news. This is the reason you're not going to school. This is the reason you can't go outside very often or visit your friends. It might be the reason why the grown-up or grown-ups who look after you are at home. The word is coronavirus. Hi, Nurse Kristen. This is Nurse Kim from Four Points Middle School. What is the coronavirus? That's a great question, Nurse Kim. The coronavirus is a kind of virus. Viruses are tiny germs that are so small that you can't see them. They're so light that they can float through the air in tiny drops of water and they can sit on your skin without you feeling them. And some of these germs get inside you. They can use your body to make more germs and that can make you ill. There are lots of different sorts of coronaviruses and some of them infect people. If you have been infected with one of these coronaviruses, all you probably had was a snotty nose or a cough. But when this completely new coronavirus germ gets inside a human body, it causes an illness called COVID-19. When people talk about catching the coronavirus, they're talking about this illness. Hi, Ms. Kristen. This is Lori Parham, school nurse at Vista Ridge High School. How do you catch coronavirus? Nurse Lori, because the coronavirus is new, scientists don't know everything about it yet. But they think there are two main ways that people can catch it. Coronavirus germs live in people's throats and mouths. When someone who has the coronavirus coughs or sneezes or breathes out, the germs come out through their mouth in tiny drops of water. Though you can't see the germs, you can sometimes see tiny drops in cold weather, they make a cloud of steam. So if someone else accidentally breathes in the air with the coronavirus germs in it, they would probably get the illness. It's easy to get the coronavirus germs from inside your body on your hands when you touch your nose or your mouth. If the person with the coronavirus germs on their hands uses a door, the invisible germs can live on the handle for hours. When someone else opens the door, they get the germs on their hands too. And if they touch their nose or mouth, the germs can get into their body. Hi, Nurse Kristen. This is Nurse Susan from Cox Elementary. How do you catch the coronavirus? Nurse Susan, some people, particularly most children, hardly feel ill at all when they get the coronavirus. But they still have coronavirus germs in their body that they could give to someone else by mistake. When they get the coronavirus, lots of people get coughs and high temperature. Some people also have a headache or aches all over their body. People are usually ill for a few days, but bodies are amazing things. When a new germ, like the coronavirus, gets into someone's body, their body knows that germ shouldn't be there and starts killing it. The body has an amazing weapon against viruses called antibodies. Tiny cells in your blood make antibodies to fight each different virus invader. The antibodies catch the viruses, then the blood cells swallow them up and destroy them, and then the person gets better. Each of us has more than 10 billion different kinds of antibody inside us. That means there are more different antibodies inside you right now than there are people in the world. Hi, Nurse Kristen. This is Nurse Misty from Aiken Elementary. Why are people worried about catching the coronavirus? Good question, Nurse Misty. Nearly everyone has a body that is healthy enough to fight the coronavirus, but there are some people who find it harder because their bodies are not as strong. They might be people who are more than 70 years old or already have other illnesses like cancer that might make their bodies weaker. They may need more help to fight the coronavirus. This means they have to go to the hospital and they might need to use a special machine called a ventilator to help them breathe. However, Sometimes this might not be enough to help them get better. And if that happens, then sadly, they might die. That's why these people really need to stay home, 
away from anywhere they might catch the coronavirus. They won't be able to have visitors. That might mean you won't be able to go and visit some of your family for a while to help keep them safe. Hi, Nurse Kristen. This is Nurse Suzanne from Nauman. Is there a cure for the coronavirus? Nurse Suzanne, most people get better from the coronavirus by themselves, but doctors and scientists want to help everyone do that quickly and safely. Doctors don't have a cure for the coronavirus yet because it's a new illness. Some medicines that doctors already know about might help, so they are trying them out on people who are ill. But even if they don't work, scientists are also working on making completely new medicines for the coronavirus that no one has ever had before. Another thing that scientists are working on is a vaccine. A vaccine is a special medicine that is usually injected into your body while you are healthy. Inside the medicine are weak or dead virus germs. The antibodies in your blood can practice killing these germs so that if you catch that virus, they can start fighting the live virus germs faster. You probably already had some vaccines when you were a baby, so that means you won't get some illnesses. It takes many months to make you new medicine. Before you can give it to lots of people, you have to make sure that it is safe for everyone, so you have to try it out carefully on a few people at a time. Then when you know it works, and is safe, you have to make enough for everyone who needs it. Hi, Nurse Kristen. This is Nurse Heidi from Westside Elementary. Why are places we normally go to closed? Nurse Heidi, although lots of people will get better from the coronavirus, it's really important that people who might become very ill don't catch it. This means we need to make sure that as few people as possible get the coronavirus so that we don't pass it on to anyone who might become very ill. And if lots of people get ill and have to go to the hospital at the same time, then hospitals will get too busy to look after people properly. It's so easy to get the coronavirus that we need to be very careful that we don't get too near people who don't live with us. And that's why all places where lots of people are together, like schools and libraries, are closed at the moment. The government of this country has said that people can only go outside their homes if they really, really have to. Some people like doctors or nurses or people who work in food shops or people who deliver things to our homes have to go out of their homes to go to work. Most people can also go out of their home if they need to buy food or to exercise, but they must be very careful not to go near anyone else. If you or anyone in your family feels ill and thinks they might have the coronavirus, you can't come out of your home for all of two weeks. We all have to stay at home to protect the people who will find it hard to fight the coronavirus. Hi, Nurse Kristen. This is Nurse Tara from Cedar Park High School. I was wondering, what is it like to be home all the time? Nurse Tara, sometimes being at home with the people you live with can be great fun. You can do things together that you wouldn't normally do when you're at school or when the grown-ups are at work. Being at home all the time can make you have certain feelings. Sometimes you may feel bored. You're going to miss your friends. Sometimes you're going to feel angry. Sometimes you're going to feel sad. These are all normal things to feel. And everyone who lives with you probably feels the same way sometimes, even if they try not to show it. The grown-up or grown-ups who look after you might also feel worried. Sometimes they might feel worried about work. Sometimes it might be hard for them to buy the things you all need, and that might worry them too. If you are worried, talk about your worries with a grown-up who looks after you. If you are still going to school, maybe you could talk to a teacher, or maybe you can talk to a teacher or someone else in your family on the phone or by using a computer or a tablet. Hi, Nurse Kristen. It's Nurse Tina from Winkley. What can I do to help? Great question, Nurse Tina. You are already helping a lot by staying at home, but you can also help by taking extra care to make sure you don't catch or pass on the coronavirus to anybody else. Did you know that viruses are killed by soap? If you wash your hands really carefully and for long enough, you won't have any coronavirus germs on your hands. You can sing a song while you wash your hands to make sure you're washing them for long enough. Long enough to sing happy birthday twice. If you have to wipe or blow your nose, use a tissue and put it in the bin straight away. 
Remember to wash your hands too because the coronavirus lives in your snot and can get onto your hands from the tissue. If you have to cough or sneeze, do it into the inside corner of your elbow, not on your hand. Then you can't give the coronavirus to other people that way. If everyone does these things, it'll make a big difference. Another important thing you can do is to be kind to the people that you live with. Things will be different and perhaps difficult for all of you. If you live with brothers and sisters, you might sometimes find them annoying, but try not to fight with them. If you live with grown-ups, maybe you can help them by doing what you've been asked to do or giving them a big hug. If you're not at school, do your schoolwork. It will help to keep your mind busy so that you won't be bored. And then when you go back to school, you will have learned a lot. If you don't have a screen of your own, talk about how you can share screen time fairly with everyone who needs it. Remember, grown-ups who live with you might have to do work as well. If they do, you can help them by not disturbing them when they are trying to work. Then they will be more likely to have time to do fun things with you. Maybe you can make a list of things that you would like to do with them. Hi, Nurse Kristen. This is Nurse Paula from Laura Bush Elementary. What's going to happen next? Nurse Paula, this is a strange time for everybody and it's happening all over the world. But if we are all careful and we all stay at home, we are doing what we can to stop the coronavirus from spreading. And that gives the scientists and doctors time to work out how to cure the illness and maybe stop people from getting it all together by using medicine and vaccines. One day, quite soon, though nobody knows exactly when, you'll be able to visit people you love who don't live with you, play with your friends, go to school again, and do lots of other things that you enjoy, but that you can't do right now. One day, this strange time will be over. Once it's over, we will know we did it together.